tutorial will provide an overview of a few of the significant changes to the interface of Cisco Packet Tracer 7.2. The first changes you'll notice when you open Cisco Packet Tracer 7.2 are the new coloring scheme and the placement of tools. Let's start with the logical and physical workspace toggles, which are now buttons on the toolbar in the upper left. The real-time and simulation toggles are also now buttons in the lower right corner. The state of the button indicates the mode you are currently in. With the new positioning, the toggle buttons no longer obscure portions of the workspace. The logical, physical, real-time, and simulation toolbar have also been updated with new icons. All of the buttons that were previously labeled with words have been replaced with icons. You can mouse over the buttons to reveal their names. What used to be the right toolbar has now become a secondary toolbar at the top. All of the previous tools are here, with the drawing tools expanded to their own button. You can hide and show this secondary toolbar via the View menu. For those of you that like the classic color scheme or a more industrial look and feel, the color scheme can be changed from the Preferences menu. At the bottom, you can select the color scheme of choice. Note that the current scheme is the default, with Classic and Slate also available. Also note that you will need to restart Cisco Packet Tracer for the color scheme to take effect. Cisco Packet Tracer 7.2 includes a number of changes to improve accessibility for all users. For those who may be colorblind, the workspace link lights are now represented as up green triangles, down red triangles, and amber circles. We've also improved the screen reader support for a number of interface elements. For example, the simulation event list is now keyboard navigation compatible, and the PDU fields can be navigated using the keyboard and also support screen readers. Thanks for watching and for using Cisco Packet Tracer 7.2.